Okay, so this is the other fluorescent light that I haven't uh, converted yet, but you can you can definitely see the color banding there. I was just working on this last fluorescent fixture, and I noticed it's letting out some of the magic black goo. So let's take a look at that up above. So you can see this uh, this guy looks like it's pretty discolored. It's probably been running pretty darn hot, and it's. Uh, Hot enough to melt some of the there's probably some potting compound or something in there so this one was just about ready to let go so good thing we are getting rid of it I'll just uh, do the same thing yellow wires cut here and then we've got the red and blue on that end so I'll strip back these wires and get this one converted looks like it was just about ready to die too this one wasn't buzzing but it must have been running pretty hot okay YouTube got these lights converted there went from the t12 fluorescent over to the t8 LED and this is just a little test looking for flicker I'm not seeing any of the color banding like I was with the fluorescent tubes there might be just a little bit of banding in the video. I see a little bit of bright and dark banding, but it's not very noticeable. And yeah, I've been quite happy with these lights. And I've actually been running these LED tubes for well over a year now, about 13 months, and haven't had any problems with any of the LED segments going out, no driver problems. So they've been working quite well. The only problem I ran into, not related to the LEDs, if we can zoom in here, maybe I'll actually turn the light off. I'll turn on my solar lights. And so if you can see right over here, actually both of these tombstone connectors, apparently the old fluorescent tubes were running really hot at some point in the past and all the plastic on here got brittle and broke off. And so I have problems with this particular tube flickering because there's nothing to hold the contacts in tight. I'll show you how I'm going to fix that in an upcoming video. And then the other thing to notice, if you uh, saw the earlier video where I did the retrofit on the other lamps, you can see that's the lamp I started with. It's got a clear lens on it and these lamps are definitely not clear so I'll show you how I converted a clear lamp like that into a frosted one and that'll also be in an upcoming video so stay tuned for both of those and if you have any questions on the conversion process post that up in the comment section below or on Google Plus you can check out my LED lighting playlist I'll put a link to that in the upper right corner here. If you haven't uh, already, subscribe to my channel for updates. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, thanks for watching.